right, man, another fight week for you. Yeah. How do you feel? I feel good. Yeah, I was, I was like, I was kind of curious how how things would play out this camp, you know, just because like. I'd, get, I'd given myself a bunch of time off and was kind of like, hmm, don't really want to do this anymore, you know? And I really, uh, I think coming to Vegas and kind of, um, you know, just gelling with the right team and having, you know, having all my, also having all my old team, you know, a lot of my old team there as well, kind of like, it just kind of, you know, put everything in a row. And now it's like, all right. Like, yeah, I can't remember at what point, but I was like, well, all right. Like, I feel really good right now. And, like, nice. You know, I was just kind of like, because it was kind of, I was I was experimenting a little bit, you know. So and were you really at the point where you're like, yeah, maybe I'm just going to retire? Yeah. Yeah. Was it, was it, I, a, <laughs> I was think, it a physical thing? Was it a, as, was it a well, I mean, mental thing? St- like, stage of your career kind of thing? What, what was going on there? I, th- I think I just, I came off two losses that I would just was really unhappy about you know I was just like I felt I felt great going into the fights and then you know got injured and then just you know was just trying to force things and ended up making a stupid mistake and boom fight like I like my last fight I felt like I didn't even fight I was like what did I do all this for and I just kind of felt like man I'm wasting my time so I I just I don't know I just had to like sit back and kind of reevaluate things but yeah i mean i i'm 38 you know and like i'm i'm creaky <laughs> you know but, but um it's funny like i don't know if it's the if it's the altitude the dry air or, or what it is about vegas i just felt like man my body's really holding together nice i feel really healthy and you know obviously using the the pi um for the for the recovery aspect has been really helpful and then having Bo Sandoval do all my all my strength training there has been like, he he knows how to he knows how to you know dial it in perfectly for me. So your uh, your career has been interesting no matter <laughs> how you how you I know. talk about it. I mean, I think most people would have assumed when when you came on the scene like okay we're going to see this guy one time in the Cormier fight and right. we're not hear from him again. But you know five years later you're you know you're Essentially, you're a pain in the ass for everybody you ever get in there with. Yeah. Um, I mean, talk I, about that a little that's bit. That's how I want to be remembered, as a pain <laughs> in the ass. You know? I mean, it's true. You're, you're, you've never been an easy out for anybody. And, and so just the fact that you're still that you're still going, I mean, I think is a testament to... Yeah, I, I, think, I think the frustrating part about that, though, is like, I just, I felt like I never really hit my stride, you know? Like, I, I've had... I've had some really great performances and, you know, things that I, w- I was really proud of and then I, c- but I could never just, you know, back to back them and, and just kind of line up a bunch of great wins and confidence and, you know what I mean? Because, I mean, in the sport, that's, that's a big, that's a big deal. You know, you string a bunch of wins together and get confidence and then all of a sudden you're bulletproof. So uh, it's been, it's been tough that way, you know, like I've, I'll lose a fight that I just, I feel like I shouldn't lose or, you know, I was, w- I was winning. And then something dumb happens, you know, and it's just like, ugh, just, I, I, I think maybe that was part of it too, you know, part of my like, do I really want to do this? Because I just felt like I couldn't catch a break. Um, but you know, it's, at the same time, I, I think about it, I'm just like, man, I'm really fortunate to be able to do this, and and it's a cool, it's still a cool lifestyle, it's still something I, I still love going to the gym and and you know, palling around with all the guys and beating them up and. Just having that weird relationship with good people, sure. um, and any any time you can postpone real real life, I feel like you're doing a good job. You know, exactly. <laughs> you're doing alright for yourself. Uh, I mean, I know you're from Pennsylvania originally, but you you know you identify as more of a SoCal guy at this point, right? Yeah, I mean, it's been I've been ten years there, yeah. and it's for some reason the UFC is always like, hey, we're fighting on the East Coast, let's put That's right. over here. Like, be like, why? Ten fights in a row that you're either in Brazil. We're on the East Coast, yeah, right? Yeah. What's the deal? I don't know. <laughs> I think I think they just kind of figure that I I'm, I don't have a home crowd, so I'm just I feel like maybe with the exception of this fight, I feel like I'm always like the I'm always the bad guy coming to somebody else's territory, you know? And I'm like, man, I'm the nicest guy on like on this whole roster. I feel like <laughs> like what, what's going on? But um, 
you know, I, I understand it. It's like I've I've uprooted myself and and you know I've been I bounced around quite a bit. So it's like, yeah, we're, this guy doesn't have a home home place. But uh, all my friends on the West Coast are like, when are you going to fight in California, dude? Like, we'll come visit you, but I don't want to go to New York for that. Yeah. Rochester, New York. <laughs> well, you got two, there's like two shows at least that we know of coming up in California. So, like, do yeah. this one and then yeah. fight to get on those. Well, that's the plan, you know? It's like, well, I feel like it's always my plan is to not, not get a black eye and not get touched too much and not have, like, a crazy fight like I have in the past <laughs> and, and and then the cage are closed and you just go yeah and then i'm like all right <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah but like uh, yeah i mean that that's the plan it's like let's just let's just start knocking down a couple you know I'm, I'm in the groove right now and i feel really good and just let's get a little confidence and run through a win and yeah. go to go to the next one when you have a stretch like this when you have a couple losses in a row i mean what does that do for you personally when you're in a training camp i mean does it do you feel like your back's against the wall? Do you feel more pressure, or is it does it become like a motivating thing? I, I mean, uh, I would say normally it would be like, okay, man, pressure's on, like time to perform, and and I feel like I'll, I usually rise to that occasion, you know, like I I do well that way, but um, you know, there, there's there's been an aspect of that, but I think this time around I've I've kind of I've been trying to take the pressure off myself, you know, I I spoke to um, you know, a lot of people, and I was just kind of like, you know what, I think I'm changing my goals right now. You know, it's not, I, th I think for the longest time I was like, let's let's get a bunch of wins together and then let's, um, you know, let's, let's go get a title shot. Because, you know, I, I feel like the only reason I do this is to be the best. Otherwise, it's like, what's the point? You just want to be, you just want to be on TV every once in a while. And like, I don't know. To me, that's that's lame. <laughs> so I'm just like, I just, I, I, I've had to adjust, I've had to adjust that thinking now. So I'm just kind of like, you know what, let's, um, let's just take it one fight at a time and be, you know, uh, my goal at this point is not to be the champ. It's to, it's to be the best version of myself in the octagon on May 18th. Tell me a little bit about Ed and what he brings to the table. I mean, obviously there's, you know, there's a lot of history there that you can look at with him. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's just. There's there's many many styles of Ed Herman, you know, like he's because he's been around for so long, and um, it's it, it was kind of like well, I can try to figure out who's who's going to show up for for this fight, but why not just focus on me? Um, but I mean, the one thing that I do know for sure is you know Ed's a crafty guy, he's a, you know crafty veteran, and um, you know just. Just want to stay ready in every single position and and not not be surprised at anything that he does because he's he's done just about everything. <laughs> you um, mentioned age a little bit earlier. Creaky is that the word? That you yeah, a little creaky. I think. Uh, what have I been saying? Oh, rickety. I'm like, I'll wake up and be like, oh, I'm a little rickety this morning. <laughs> can, can you like tell the weather in your knees? Yeah, like yeah. Like I'm just like, oh boy. I feel like an old rocking chair right now. I know you talked about you know feeling rejuvenated and stuff being in Vegas, but like, do you do you start looking at the end of the line and or do you, do you take it one fight at a time and say, hey man, I feel fantastic this fight, so that there's no yeah no reason thinking about being at the end. Yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, I, I kind of I, I had that on my mind. You know, I was like, well, this I'll, I probably only have so many left in me, but. Now that you know, now that I've been through a fight camp and I've, I've been feeling really good and and surrounded by a bunch of good people, I I think, uh, yeah, I think it's just kind of that's not even on my radar anymore. I'm not thinking, oh well, let's go give a good performance because this is gonna be my last time in there. You know, it's like nah, let's just go fight and and enjoy it and, and try to. I, I feel like everybody tries to find that elusive victory where. You know they they do everything right, and I I feel like I've I've performed like to forty percent of my ability. You know on my best on my best days in the octagon. So I feel like it's maybe if I take the pressure off myself and and just zero in on this this one night, maybe maybe I'll uh, I'll bump that percentage up a little bit. 